Hello everyone, this is Dale here. Hope you're well. Today we want to look at intraday breakout strategy. I know some of you want to take a trade within a day. Open the trade in a day and close it same day. This strategy is for you. Okay. In this strategy, first of all, we'll look into the introduction. we introduce it. we see why we need to trade this strategy, why using this strategy. Uh, we look at the entry and exit setup. We look at when should you trade this strategy and when should you not trade this strategy. And finally, we look at a practical example. We go into the live chat and show you practical example. At the end of this presentation, at the end of this lecture or lesson or uh, whatever we call it, you know, I want you to be able confidently to open a chat up, look at this strategy and demo it first and then you can go live with it if you feel comfortable trading it. So without further ado, let's go forward. Okay, so we introduce it. What is it? This strategy is very simple. It's just finding the high and the low of the Asian session. Okay, it's a kind of a scalping method, but uh, what we are looking for is a high and the low of the Asian session. We are not going to use trend lines, chart pattern, or anything like that. This system is very profitable. And now I'll show you how to determine the Asian high and low of the day. Now, look at the chart on the screen. What you notice, first of all, is a box. This is called the breakout or the Asian box. So it has what? It has the start of the session and the end of the session. So Asian session start at 21 GMT, 9 PM GMT, and closes at 6 AM GMT, okay? What do you notice as well is that we form two level, the high and the low. So we have the high and the low. So the high was formed round about here, and the low was formed at this candle here. So these are the information that we air pause in this strategy okay so why do we need to use this strategy what is the advantage you know what's the selling point okay one thing is that there's always going to be rivalry between asia and europe in terms of banks so we want to explore those opportunities you know what about the price cycle you know there is a price cycle in asian session what price level we reach in Asian session? Do we break it in uh, Europe or in uh, London session? Do we still trade within that price range? All those questions. The same thing, do we have any support or resistance level? And if we can find those variations, we can explore and exploit, exploit it, okay? Now, how do we set the entry and the exit, okay? I will give you specific rules that you can use to uh, enter and exit the market and then you can continue to use it, you know, often as much as you like. So first thing is, well, let's discuss what pairs we can trade. These are the three pairs we can trade. For today's lesson, we will use dollar Swiss francs as an example, okay? We only use one indicator, which is the moving average. Uh, we are going to use 55 period smooth moving average. Okay, now buy order setup. So how do we set up our buy order? Okay, so you have a chart. As you can see, price is above moving average condition one. Secondly, you need to look for the high and the low of the session. The good news is that this indicator have drawn this session for us. So you don't have to worry too much about how to draw the box. It will be drawn for you. Okay. So I'll tell you about the indicator later on. So you find the high and the low of that range. Okay. Right. So when you know the high of the range, you set a buy stop above the high. Because price is above moving average, we're only looking to buy. So we are not interested in setting a stop order at all. It's buy order only. Right. So you set your initial stop loss at the low of that range. Okay. Initial stop loss at the low of that range. 
your first take profit target, TP1, okay, will be the same size as the amount of pips you risk. So this is your stop loss. Let's assume that you risk 20 pips here. Then your take profit one also will be 20 pips, okay? Now, once you are in the market, so here you are in the market at this point, at this bar. So you move your stop loss from the initial point to the below the candle that take you in, the breakout candle. This is the breakout candle. This is the candle that break the high of the day of the session. Okay. So you place your stop loss just beneath that candle. Why? The reason is we want to reduce our uh we want to reduce our risk even further. Let's assume that this was 20 pips stop loss. Now we are we have able to reduce it to 10 pips or something like that, half of the risk. Okay. Now, if the price continues to go in your favor and you hit your first take profit target, what you do next is you move your stop loss again. Your stop loss is already here, so your stop loss is about 10 pips stop loss. Now you move it, you move it to break even to the starting point where your trade was triggered. It means that for your TP2, you can never lose again on that trade. Okay? So why do we do that again? Is to make sure that we protect our capital. We make sure we take minimal risk as possible. As, as soon as we can make our uh, risk reduce we reduce our risk instantly okay and the tp2 so the way you trade this is you have two positions you know you enter either two lots at the same time or if it's a one lot then you can exit one half of it and the remaining half at tp2 so you have exit first half at tp1 so where are you going to exit the second half of your trade Okay, you can either do that at twice the stop loss. So you remember that the stop loss here, for example, we, we assume was 20 pips. So you exit the first one at 20, the second balance of your trade at 40 pips. Or you wait till the end of the day, end of the day here to exit your trade. Or if you have a certain amount of pips in mind that you would like to uh, collect. So if it's 40, 50, 60 pips, you can also use that as your TP2. Now let's look at the sell order. The sell order is exactly as buy order, but the opposite way. All right. So now we have the same chart. We have the moving average there. You've seen the session, the Asian session high and the low of the session. Okay. And then we know that the price already below. So we are only looking to sell. We are not going to buy here because price is below moving average. Okay. So what do we do? We place our sell stop below that low of the range. Okay. We place our steps sell stop there. Where is our, our initial stop loss? It will be here right at the top. Yes, it is right at the top here where we protect ourselves. That is the initial stop loss. Okay. Where is where is our target? Our TP1. Our target will be what? The same size as your stop loss. So it will be somewhere down here. Let's see. Right. So it's somewhere down here because this is our stop loss. Let's assume it's 20 pips and our TP1 is also 20 pips. Okay. Now. You are in the market, right? You've entered the market through this bar. And then immediately what you do is you reduce your risk further, okay? So by moving your stop loss. So your stop loss that used to be here, you will move it down here, just above this breakout candle. That is the breakout candle, the candle at which you are triggered into the market. So you put your stop loss just above it. Have you seen what happened now? Your stop loss used to be this much, but now your stop loss has reduced significantly to this. So if this were 20 pips before, 
we're looking at about four pips now or five pips so reducing your risk even further okay now if you hit your tp1 right so you're taking your tp1 so what you need to do again is to protect yourself even further so move your stop to break even move your stop from here to break even so it means your tp2 whatever that happened to the second part of your trade you can never lose anymore because you have protected yourself against any losses you you broken even so as we said before your tp2 you can either close it at the end of the day or you can um use twice your stop loss so you see this is your uh stop loss which is 20 pips in this scenario so your tp2 could have been 40 pips but you see you don't have up to 40 pips down to the end of the day so your end of the day might be the way you will exit this one or as we said before if you have a pips number of pips in mind that you would like to collect so you can say that also as your tp2 so guys this is the sell order setup and we have talked about the buy order setup earlier now we want to discuss something also important yeah when should you trade this strategy the reason why i brought this up is sometimes a strategy work perfectly in some circumstances in some scenarios in some trading conditions and that same strategy when the condition changes that strategy will fail and traders usually will blame the strategy no it's not the strategy it's because we do not understand that the conditions has changed and when conditions changed you either uh, uh, modify or adapt the strategy or do not use that strategy and move to another strategy that is suited for that particular conditions okay for this strategy these are the conditions that you should watch out for first of all at that session the asian session do you see visible support and resistance level if you do that's good news is it a relatively low volatility during that session if it is that's a good news the trading range for that session for that asian session is it very small if it is that's very good news what about you yourself personally do you have confidence when you see the trade setup do you have a confidence that this trade is going to work if you do that is good news and finally are there are there uh, scheduled news events that is associated with the currency you are trading for that day if there are no news oh fantastic so that's a good news for you okay now we are going to talk about when you should not trade this strategy that is when the conditions has changed you either changed the strategy you are using or modify your strategy to the new condition okay now listen here we have no visible support and resistance level during asian session alarm bell okay very high volatility during the session hey alarm bell trading range is very high or very large alarm bell ringing well, there's no confidence you yourself you have no confidence in that trade setup alarm bell is ringing you have extensive news that is going to be played out on that day let's say uh, uh, fmoc or you have uh, non-farm payroll news or you have a uh, interest rate release and things like that then you don't have to trade that day okay now that we have gone through all the rules the do's and the don'ts now let's go and see the live chat ourselves. Okay, good. So this is a live chat, and this is a USD six francs, USD chef, and uh, we're looking at uh, the chat here. So I'm scrolling. Let me scroll to today. Yeah. So I'm scrolling to today. To today. This is today now. Okay. So this is the Asian session today. If you look at it, um. Because we are below moving average, so we are only looking to sell. So I'm gonna, I will 
uh, I will insert a line here. Let me insert a line here. So this line is uh, my self stop order that I put in the system. Okay. But you can see that my sell stop was not triggered. Why? Because price went up. That's fine. No trade. So I moved to the next day. That was, that was uh, yesterday. Okay, let's move to yesterday. What happened yesterday? The same thing happened here. We have the box. This is the Asian box here. Oh, guys, before I go forward, let me show you the, uh, the indicators, right? So we have two indicators. One is the session indicator and moving average. Session indicator is the indicator that draw this, uh, these boxes for us. So what are the properties? Okay, first of all, you have the Asian begin. Uh, and I told you that the Asian session starts at 21 GMT and this finishes at 6 GMT, 6 AM. This broker I'm using is GMT plus three, three hours ahead of GMT. So that's why instead of 2100, this one is midnight, 000, yeah? And in the morning, instead of 6 a.m., it is 9 a.m. So that's plus three. So you need to check your broker's time. I'm sure you know how to do that. Check your broker's time. Compare that with your uh, with GMT. So that is what you will enter here. So we have entered a time here for Asian session. We don't need to enter anything for. Uh, we don't need to display uh, Euro or Europe or US session. That's why the color are none none so we don't want to see them on the chart on the chart so the second indicator is the moving average that's ma55 it's a smooth moving average uh you have simple exponential smooth but we are using smooth there's not much difference in this moving averages but for consistency sake let us stick to smooth moving average okay so we were moving to the to the yes to yesterday okay okay so this is yesterday we see the price here uh we see the box which has been formed okay and then we draw our line again so let's insert another line here so we insert the line here so we are looking to sell as well so we start our line we see that our trade has been taken here all right trade has been triggered here a sell trade we put our stop loss just above so let's put another line for our stop loss so so our our stop loss is here and our trade is triggered here so it's never even anywhere near stop loss so as soon as we go into the market we can move our stop loss as we described before we can move our stop loss downwards yeah we can move our stop loss right above the the bar that trigger us okay once we move our stop loss let's see how much i mean what is our initial stop loss uh, initial stop loss was actually here okay so it was here uh, how many pips is that the pips is uh, maybe about 16 pips and our TP1 will be about 16 pips. So our TP1 is 16 pips. Let's see, do we have 16 pips from entry? 16 pips. Yeah, this is 17 pips. So our TP1 here, if you are using twice your stop loss for TP2, that will be about 32 pips. So where is it? 32 pips so you're out with your two uh, uh your two uh part of the trade successful if you are using end of the day for your ex second exit this is the end of the day you are looking about 75 pips okay so or if you set yourself a target of a number of pips to come out that's also very good all right that's a uh short example a cell a example let's look at a long example okay so we can look at any of these as an example okay let's let's pick this one 
let's pick this one so this this is a box here and uh, we want to go long right so we want to insert our line there for going long so we know we are going long round about here right and our stop loss we are going to make our stop loss runs about somewhere around there okay but remember that note that our trade was triggered here so this stop loss is not touched at all because trade trigger here and it took off so let's see what is our initial stop loss initial stop loss is uh, about 16 pip 16 17 pips as well so our tp1 will be 17 pips which is round about here tp1 our tp2 could be 34 pips okay this is 30 pip maximum we got here so it means that um we got tp1 so our tp2 could be end of the day we could come out at the end of the day but remember to always move your stop so for example on this trade uh, your initial stop was here after you have triggered and you're in the market you move your stop loss below this line here you remember because this is a breakout candle the trigger candle so you move your stop loss below it and once you hit your tp1 then you move your stop loss again to your open yeah so you move your stop loss so that you have a free trade you can you can no longer lose on that trade okay guys i hope you understand this strategy is very simple um you can try it on a demo first practice 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 on demo until you feel very comfortable right so if you have questions or anything you want to know more about this strategy you can ask me you know as usual make a comment on the on the channel and ask any question you want i have uh, i'm going to make a template for this and the indicator and if you like to receive one you can as usual send me a comment and uh, first of all you must subscribe yeah you subscribe and gives us a thumbs up that you like the video and then i'll send it to your email address okay guys i hope you enjoyed this lesson today and i'll speak to you shortly is dare